people here. Yeah, right. <laughs> I couldn't imagine. Though I don't see you in the office or in the building frequently, or do I? I, I am the station manager. Okay. And there's only okay. one person in Juno, so I do everything. You're it. She's I the make one TV commercials, I do sales, I do oh, paperwork. Okay, all right. I do news, so I'm not here right. as often. Okay, as all right. Station. But um, so basically, tell me your name and your position. Uh, Representative Gary Knopp, and I represent House District 30, uh, primarily the Kenai Soldatna area. Um, okay, so why did you vote against uh, the, what was his name, how do you pronounce it? Representative Dave Tellerico. Yeah, why did yeah, you vote a, against a, mem a member of my own caucus. You know, it wasn't a vote against Mr. Tellerico. Teller uh, Dave Tellerico is a good friend, sits right next to me on the floor. Nicest guy in the world, great guy. The vote wasn't against him. It was about the process. I've stated all along. I'm only supporting a bipartisan coalition. I've, I didn't support either nominee. I made that perfectly clear in my floor speech. And it's, uh, it's about the process. We had an agreement not to bring forward names today. That agreement was breached, and, uh, and I had to publicly stand up and, and, and state that I, I would not be supporting either nominee. Wow, I did not realize that, that there was an agreement that was great. It was a handshake agreement, but it was an agreement. Stop, handshake is a yeah. handshake. Okay, so um, my understanding is that a Speaker of the House has to be in place by the eighth day, according to the law. Do you know anything about that? It is not uh, a law. It's uh, uniform rules that the legislature has adopted. Uh, Article 2, Section 12 of the Constitution allows, you know, mandates that the legislature adopt their own uh, uniform rules of procedure. So Rule 1B says that on the eighth legislative day that you must, uh, the, the speaker pro tem must open up nominations for a permanent speaker. And that's all that says. It says you must open up nominations. It doesn't say you have to bring a name forward. And, and so the, the rule was complied with, uh, and, and that's, that's as far as that rule goes. And, okay, so I think you already answered your, what your opposition was. Um, so what are you proposing moving forward, a new candidate or another vote? No, we're proposing an organization. We have to create an organization, whatever that looks like. And when members of that body agree to an organization, then we will bring forward uh, the speaker that we've agreed to support that organization, and, and we will affirm him, bring him, yes. So until an organization is created and the leadership team is decided on, then we will bring forward the candidate uh, that's all agreed on. He will have support more than likely from the entire body at that time. Okay, so um, if you were talking to someone who doesn't know anything about politics, how would you explain um, not being organized? What, what's the problem? What's, you know, what's hindering you? You know, the problem is the sheer numbers. 21 members simply cannot walk and lock step in every single issue, and the policy issues and debates and the budget is not even out there yet. And when that comes out, if you know the, if you know the the caucuses and the, and, and the issues and, and the people's position on them, you realize there is no chance of success with 21 members. You have to work across the party lines, build those numbers so that you can get to 21. You have to have 21 votes. You can't get that out of 21 members. So. Awesome. Okay, so is there anything else you'd like the state of Alaska to know? You know, I mean, it's important to get this right. You know, it's important to do this, and it's important to get it right, even more important to get it right. And, and we're working towards that. But I want them to also know that people think we're unorganized and behind. There's a lot of work going on behind the scenes, and we are limiting the focus of what we're going to address this session. So we're really on track to get the three priorities done, and which is crime reform, budget, and PFD, and, uh, and still be out of here in relatively close to 90 days. So we're not... We're not really off track here whatsoever. We limit the things that we're going to address. Awesome. Uh, that's all I have. It was great.